Hello everyone, so in this video, I'm going to discuss normal distribution and again, I'm Sir Paul Joralar Santos. So, for our objectives, first, illustrate a normal random variable and its characteristics. Second, identify regions under the normal curve corresponding to different, different standard normal values. Third, convert a normal random variable to a standard normal variable and vice versa. And fourth, compute probabilities and percentiles using the standard normal sampling. The normal probability distribution is a probability distribution of continuous random variables. It shows graphical representations of random variables obtained through measurement like the height and weight of the students of or any data with infinite values. It is used to describe the characteristics of populations and help us visualize the inferences we make about the population. It also used to determine the probabilities and percentile of the continuous random variables in the distribution. The graphical representation of the normal distribution is popularly known as normal curve. The normal curve is described clearly by the following characteristics. First, the normal curve is bell-shaped. Second, the normal curve is symmetrical about its center. Third, the mean, median, and mode coincide at the center. Fourth, the width of the curve is determined by the standard deviation of the distribution. This image is called normal curve. As you can see, it is bell-shaped. It is also symmetrical on its vertical axis. And the mean, median, and mode are all equal. The fifth characteristic of normal probability distribution or normal curve. The tails of the curve are plotted in both direction and flatten out indefinitely along the horizontal axis. The tails are thus asymptotic to the baseline. Based on the fifth characteristic, the normal curve approaches the horizontal axis. on both direction, to the left and to the right, but it will never touch the horizontal axis. And the last characteristic, the total area under a normal curve is 1. This means that the normal curve represents the probability or the proportion or the percentage associated with specific sets of measurement values. Based on the sixth characteristic, the area under this curve and above the horizontal axis is equal to 1. This slide only tells us that a normal distribution is said to be standard normal distribution if its mean is equal to 0 and its standard deviation is equal to 1. We can also transform a normal distribution or a random normal distribution into its corresponding standard normal variable by using this formula. Since the area under the standard normal distribution is 1 and the curve is symmetrical at the mean 0, the 50% of the region under the curve is below the mean and the 50% or the other 50% is above the mean. This image tells us that the 50% of the area is located at or located below the mean and the other 50% of the area is located above the mean. You can easily identify the area of the regions under the normal curve by using the table of areas under the normal curve, which is also known as Z-table. This table gives the area of any value of Z from negative 3.5 
3.49 to 3.49. The value from this table will describe the area of the specific region of the curve to the left of the given z value. 